how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Vox Royalties, Kyle Floyd. How are you doing today, Kyle? Rich, fantastic. Good to be back on the program with you. Excited to have you here today. I know you're uh, in Florida at a conference, so we're going to make it quick. We're going to talk about some of the key news that you guys have put out over the last few weeks. So from the November 2nd news release, Vox announces Q3 2021 revenues and multiple royalty production records. Can you please go through this for our viewers? Yeah, so we released preliminary revenue figures, which was really exciting for us. And what we really saw happening in our portfolio was expanded production at most of our operating partners. Um, And so that's really a a key indicator of continued growth for our business. Um, It's what we had planned on when we bought a lot of these assets. And to see that continue to come in line, obviously we had uh, already released uh, increased revenue guidance just a couple months ago. We had doubled that revenue guidance. So to see the continued support of this revenue growth for our business and for our shareholders was very exciting. Um, so yeah, pleased to get that out to the market and looking forward to what we have to come over the rest of this year and into early next year as well. Now you guys have continued your industry leading organic growth trajectory from five to 10 producing assets by late 2023. Can you tell the investors what this means for the company? Well, from our perspective, it's really about finding good value for our shareholders. There are other royalty companies out there and other royalty companies that have been around for a while, going back to the majors like Franklin, Nevada and Wheaton Royal. Um, but what it really comes down to for us is we believe that all royalty companies, whether you're a new entrant, have been around a while, that you're finding good value for your shareholders. And when we look at finding value, we find that value typically in the pre-production state. And this growth in producing asset count is really demonstrating and validating our track record that we're finding great assets right on the precipice of production. And that's really re-rating the value of these royalties in our portfolio and of the combined business valuation for our business and our shareholders. And so this continued track record and growth and development in that category of going from five to what we believe is going to be approximately 10 as we exit 2023, and I believe that's pretty conservative, um, is going to be a really exciting time period for our shareholders. Now on your October 20th news release, huge news, commercial production milestones achieved at the Segi Lola gold mine by Thor. Can you tell the viewers what the milestones mean for Vox? Yeah, this is an exciting one. Again, a royalty that we purchased from a third party prior to Segi Lola coming online. They've obviously announced first gold pour and then commercial production. And then so with a short timeline for a ramp up phase, we're expecting to record revenue uh, from this business in quarter four or quarter one. Um, but that's a really exciting development for us as it shows that we're finding these assets prior to these production milestones. And then the value is really re-rated. This is a royalty that we bought for about one fourth of we, what we expect to generate in revenue for us over wow. a two year time period. And look, I'll, it's, it's a capped royalty. We put that out there, but to generate that type of return on our invested capital is what we're after. And so when you know, we continue to look at some of the news that we put out there, and you know, I'm sure we'll go through it, um, you're seeing these types of development catalysts over and over in our portfolio demonstrate the value of what we're bringing forth for our shareholders. Can you give us an update on the near-term preparation of the definitive feasibility study on the Pitomberis Vanadium project by Jangata? Can you break this down for us today? Yeah, absolutely. So this was a really exciting one. And this is one of those reasons why you buy royalty companies. We had a royalty originally over what is another uh, interesting piece of news in that announcement that we referenced, which was the Pedro Branca. It's the largest platinum groups metals project that's developing in South America right now. This was part of that project, but was really spun off in that it was a different kind of form of mineralization. Uh, And so we ended up getting really two royalties for the price of one. And this asset has been fast-tracked in production from that point in 2019 to now. has come out, and they're going to be releasing a definitive feasibility study and are expecting that they can bring this asset into production in Q1 of next year, which is just a very, very rapid time frame to see an asset go from what was really exploration stage to production stage. Uh, And again, just typifies a lot of what we're seeing in our portfolio, which is explosive growth from very interesting assets they're going to continue impacting um, the the success of our business in a very material way. Now, you guys also had high-grade drilling results at the Ashburton Gold Project by Kalamazoo, likely extending the strike length and the probability it gets brought back into production. Please also, can you go through this for our viewers and break it down? 
Yeah, so this is one of the elephants in our portfolio. This was a past producing gold mine a very long time ago, uh, back in the early 2000s. And what we're seeing a lot in Western Australia for your viewers out there is there's very, very good um, just infrastructure and capability of bringing assets into production in Western Australia, record timelines with very good people. Uh, and so this was a sleepy project that had been held by Northern Star and then got vended out just after we purchased the royalty to a much more nimble and aggressive group in Kalamazoo. So they've publicly put out that they're targeting two to three million ounces for, uh, for an overall resource size on this project. It was sitting at 1.65 million ounces in terms of a historic resource. What this drilling does is it reaffirms those targets, um, probably improves the chances they hit those significantly, which makes it a very, very material project. Um, and also it's increasing that probability that this is gonna get brought back into production. And again, what I, would, what I would continue to emphasize is the timeline in Western Australia is probably faster than anywhere in terms of bringing projects eventually back into production. Um, and this company announcing high grade at surface drill results, extending the strike length as a royalty company and as a royalty shareholder, this is what you love about being involved in our business is seeing these results. We're not paying for the drilling campaign. We're not paying the tens of millions of dollars for development, but we're getting the benefits for, uh, of that for our shareholders um, in an undiluted way. So again, a really exciting piece of new news for our shareholders out there. I love the news. And in, in addition to that, you had significant new wide shallow drilling results from emerging puzzle North discovery by Genesis and high grade drilling results at the Pedra Branca Platinum Group Elements PGE project by Valor. Can you break down these results for everyone and what it means for the company? Yeah, so real quick on Puzzle North, it's part of the Ulysses Gold project. This is again, it's, it's you know, I'm sounding like a broken record a little bit, but that's a very good thing for our business in that this is another Western Australia, very, very interesting gold project that was really an exploration stage, early stage when we bought this royalty as part of an overall portfolio. And then the drilling just continues and it continues to find great mineralization at a pretty contiguous level. And what's shaping up to likely be a, a piece, this is a piece of an overall larger deposit um, that is probably gonna be included in a pre-feasibility study it means that this asset has potential to be in production over the near term. And again, when we bought it, and I think that's what key, what's key about this, this was a very early stage royalty that we saw a lot of potential in that again is proving out and proving our thesis out and our expectations out. That's our mining engineers and our geologists doing really good work for our business and our shareholders. And then look at Pedro Branca. This is a royalty acquired a few years ago. They are starting to hit what we always expected that they could when they started redrilling, which was originally a project held by Anglo-American, had more than $40 million of expenditure on it, um, and now is in the hands of that kind of nimble junior operator that's really bringing this project along, expanding what they believe is the mineralization strike length. Um, and so it's a project that we're really excited about. It's the largest developing platinum groups metals project in all of South America. The operator is doing a great job. So again, all of this combined, you see what's happening in our portfolio. And one of the things, Rich, that you and I spoke about early on is inflation is driving an overall buoyancy in commodity prices right now. And we continue to see that play out in our portfolio where we're not exposed to those cost pressures, but we are exposed to that buoyancy in a very positive way in the underlying commodity prices and in the sector being well-funded. And so it's this overall inflationary backdrop. We've seen a tremendous amount of new interest come into our stock and our story because we're so well positioned in this environment. We built the company to be well positioned in this environment and that thesis and that belief and that really investment in our business going back over a decade now ago is really paying off and, and putting our shareholders and our company in a great position to continue to execute and build value. Kyle, you guys have done an amazing job since we started covering the company. It's only been doing extremely well. The stock is up. Investors are happy. If there was one thing you would want investors to know that are watching this video today before we say goodbye, what would that be? Yeah, I think it's a little bit on the theme we just touched on. Uh, inflation's real. It continues to come out uh, in the news. Everyone feels it. It's tangible. And that's worldwide. Um, commodities have outperformed in pretty much every inflationary regime that at least that we've seen in North America over the last 30, 40 years. And so pick, pick carefully, pick wisely what you're playing in the commodity sector. Find the companies, I believe, like Vox that present that upside potential with a lot less of the risk like us actually not feeling the inflationary pressures on the cost side of our business, 
The miners are feeling that. You're seeing that in general industry all over the world. Um, so we believe we're in the right place at the right time for shareholders and investors out there looking to get that commodity exposure um, an exciting company with a lot of room to grow like Vox. I must remind everyone that's watching that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe this is a company that has incredible upside. It's already been a success story for our community. Congratulations to investors all over the world. And I want to thank the CEO of Vox Royalties, Kyle Floyd, for joining us today. Thank you, Kyle. Thanks, Rich. Pleasure to be back and looking forward to keeping everyone updated on the news that we have coming forth over the next few weeks and few quarters. And we'd love to invite you back if you ever have any big breaking news. I'm sure you're working on a lot of different things. Love to have you here to discuss that with our community. And for those of you guys that are watching, if you're not winning, you're not watching, put Vox Royalties, V-O-X in Canada, V-O-X-C-F on your radar, on your watch list. It's been a winner for our community already, and we believe it's got a long way to go. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a great day. Thank you.